Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about in demo what I consider to be the best alternative to Topaz Labs to Noise AI. That is On One Software's No Noise AI. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you probably heard me say that my favorite plugin of all the plugins in the world is Topaz Labs Denoise AI. I think it's an excellent application and I use it all the time to reduce noise in my images. With that said, it's not the best application for everyone. It is microprocessor and graphics processor or graphics card heavy. It demands a lot of resources from a person's computer. And on some systems, it runs at a snail's pace, very, very slowly. And in some systems, it doesn't run at all. It just crashes outright. Um, also, it's a little bit complicated to use. There's a lot of different AI models and there's a lot of complicated masking that people find uh, difficult to understand. And some people just don't have the time to sit down with the application and learn all its ins and outs to effectively use it. So I often am asked, what do you recommend instead of Denoise AI? It just won't run on my system or I don't like it for whatever reason. Well, my recommendation is On One Software's No Noise AI. No Noise AI is an excellent alternative and you'll see it does a great job at removing noise in an image. Now, today I'm going to use it as a Lightroom plugin. Now, let me try to clear up some confusion here. If you purchase On One Photo Raw 2022, it comes with no noise AI built in, but you can't use it as a plugin in Lightroom or Photoshop. It's just inside of no noise AI, or I'm sorry, it's just inside of On One Photo Raw 2022. You can't use it as a plugin, but you can purchase it as a standalone app. The standalone app will work on raw files on its own, or you can use that as a plugin in Lightroom and Photoshop. So a lot of people are upset by that because they purchase on One Photo Raw 2022, but they still use Lightroom or they still use Photoshop and they want to use parts of on One Photo Raw 2022, including the no noise part of it as a plugin, which you were able to do with earlier versions of on One Photo Raw. Well, you can't do that anymore. You have to purchase it as a standalone app. A lot of people do like that, though. They don't want to spend all the money on On One Photo Raw 2022. They just want to buy it as a plugin because they use Lightroom or they use Photoshop uh, exclusively. So it's good and it's bad. Now, with that said, I am going to be using it as a Lightroom plugin. When you do use it as a Lightroom plugin, you cannot send a raw file into it. You have to send a PSD, JPEG, or TIFF. Now, that's not a limitation of... Um, on one's no noise AI, that's a limitation of Lightroom. Lightroom will allow you to send a raw file into any plugin. You have to send either a JPEG, TIFF, or a PSD, and that's what we're going to be doing here. Now, I have this image here. It was shot at an ISO at 12,800, and you can see that there's a considerable amount of noise. Now, what I recommend you do is do some processing in Lightroom, but don't do anything that would enhance the noise. That includes contrast, texture, clarity, and dehaze. You can see I have all those at zero. Also in the detail panel, um, don't add any sharpening. That will enhance the noise. Don't add any luminance noise reduction because you're going to be using no noise AI. So keep that at zero. And color noise reduction. Um, by default, Lightroom's gonna put a value, usually a 25 in there. Uh, you could take that down to zero as well, or you could leave it. Um, color noise reduction, Lightroom does do a pretty good job. But for this demonstration, and because I want to show you how good no noise AI is, I'll leave that at zero for this. And there is some color noise in this image. Now I'm ready to send it into no noise AI. I'm going to right click right on the image, go down to edit in, and then over to on one no noise AI 2022, and we'll click on that. Now I mentioned we can't send this raw file directly in there. So we have to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Um, on one recommends you use a PSD file, so I'll leave that. Color space, I like to use Profoto RGB throughout my works, uh, workflow because that's the larger color space of the ones available. 16 bits per component. 
And resolution, it doesn't really matter what you put in there. A lot of people put a little bit too much overemphasis on resolution. Really doesn't matter to tell you the truth at this point in your workflow. Uh, I will say that Epson, if you have an Epson printer, they recommend that you use a resolution of 360 throughout your workflow. So that's why I have 360 there and I click edit. Now you can see in the top left hand corner, Lightroom is creating this PSD file with those specs. And then it will open that PSD file up directly into No Noise AI. And because I have No Noise AI set to auto, it automatically removed the noise. And you can see I have this little uh, bar right in the middle. There is the noisy image. Hopefully you can see that in the video. And there is the noise reduced image. Noisy, noise reduced. And you can see that color noise. You can see all these little blue and green mainly, a little bit of red dots in there as well. You can see it just took them right out. Did a really nice job. Now I mentioned I have it set to auto. If you go over here on the right hand panel, you can see right here noise reduction auto on. You can, of course, override that. You could just take a slider and move it, but in auto, it has luminance noise at 100, enhanced detail at 80, and color noise at 100. It will allow you to do some sharpening here as well. This is the typical sharpening if you're familiar with On One Photo Raw 2022. Uh, it has an amount detail and threshold slider. Uh, basically, you move the amount slider to you get a much, you know, like a nice amount of detail. Then you could tweak the detail slider to add more detail and tweak the threshold slider to see how it affects that sharpening you're doing. But Lightroom does a pretty good job on sharpening. So you may want to just leave these at their default settings and then use Lightroom um, for sharpening. And you probably still have some more processing to do in Lightroom anyway. We didn't add any texture, no, any clarity at all. We didn't add any contrast. So you may want to just wait and leave these alone and do that in uh, Lightroom. Now, along the top, we do have um, some options for the top area of this bar. You could see we have a navigation. Uh, this is just where you can move this little uh, rectangle around and get a different part of the image to look at. You have levels, you have info on the file itself, and then you have edit history. And you can see there is none on this image. So I'm just gonna leave it right there. And then I'm gonna clip, go down here and I'm just gonna click done. So it's really very, very easy to use. So I should add, there are layers here but that is going to be inoperative when you're using this as a plugin. That is for when you're using it from within on One Photo Raw 2022. So if you click on that, you'll see nothing will happen. So we're gonna click done. And now it's going to actually add that noise reduction to the image. Now, something crazy may happen. I'm kind of hoping it does so I could demo it, but it isn't. Um, it's always that way. When you want something to happen, it won't happen. Sometimes what will happen is when you get back into Lightroom and you zoom in, you'll see it didn't remove any noise, but in this case it did. But you'll say it looks identical to the image with the noise. And what you'll also notice is in the top right hand corner, there's going to be an up arrow of the film strip, I should say. And let me make this a little bigger. Like right here in the top right hand corner, there'll be an up arrow and three lines. That means that Lightroom is confused. Lightroom has metadata for that image in the catalog, but No Noise AI wrote new metadata for the file, and Lightroom doesn't know what metadata it should read, its own or No Noise AI's metadata. You want to read No Noise AI's metadata. So what you need to do is when you see that up arrow and those three little lines, click right on it, and a little box will appear in the middle, and there's going to be three choices. You're going to want the middle choice. I think it, it's something, I'm paraphrasing, uh, read metadata from disk, I think it might say. So you want that middle choice. Click on that, and then it will, those three lines in that up arrow would disappear, and you'll have your noise reduced image. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. There's our noisy image, and there's our noise reduced image. And as I mentioned, you could continue here. You could do your sharpening in Lightroom and you may want to add contrast like I mentioned or you may want to add some clarity and texture here as well. But do that in Lightroom afterwards. So that's my opinion of what is the best denoise AI alternative and that is On One Photo Raw's No Noise AI. In the description below this video, I'll have links to their website. I have a discount code. I think it's 20%. You could save. 
But anyway, I'll have all that listed in the description below. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.